In today's video, we're going to show you how to install the motor control board in your top load washer. To install your new motor control board, our first steps are going to be connecting our wiring harnesses. Now they've made it easy for us to do that because each harness will only go on the block it's designed for. You can't mix them up. Uh, there's actually some color coding that makes it really easy, as in the case of this set of harnesses. We've got a red connector and a red block. We have a white connector and a white block. So we'll just start by popping those in. So we've got the white connector going into the white block. Just going to push it into place and you'll actually feel and may even hear the little click when the connector locks. We'll do the red one next. White plug and a white connector. We have a relay right here and the connector for it, so we'll slip that into place. Our next closest harness is for our relay. So we have a large connector and a large block on our board. We'll make that connection. Now we've got these these harnesses to install and again you'll see they're different sizes different size blocks so there's no worry about mixing up what goes where we'll start with the lower section we'll take the larger connector put it into the larger block the one that goes right next to it finally the longest of the three There, your harnesses are all now connected. Just rotate our board. We'll get our cover. And again, has the two locking tabs on its cover for those two latches. Just bring the cover into place. So we just line up our cover, snap it closed. And we're ready to install it back into the machine. One Phillips screw to put into place. Your control board is now in place. We're just going to reinstall the transformer. Put our connector together to power it. Get our wires tucked down into this area here so they don't get pinched by the cover. We'll insert this small tab under this little locking tab so now that we have our cover secured over a transformer we'll connect our, our console harnesses White block to white connector, black block to black connector. Put these back into the keeper and give them a twist together with our wires together and secure it in place. Put our screw in, make sure that we have the control board secured. Line up our console with the fingers into the slots into the top. Rotate it downward. Just secure the console with our two Phillips screws, install our other screw. So with that screw secured, your console is back in place and your parts installed. Mm -hmm. 